Sid and Alexa, stop. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, just uh, checking in here. How are you, everybody? Hey gang, how's everyone doing? Just waiting for you to. Hey guys, how are you? Hello, everybody in the in the comments. How you doing? Um, let me let me know if you can hear me. I'm 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 just using a shotgun microphone right now. I don't have the the regular microphone because I'm charging it. Can you hear me though? Let me know if you can hear me before I get into this. I want to do a quick talk louder. No, I'm not going to talk louder. Um, I'm not going to talk louder, Josh. Um, but you can turn your volume up if you want. That, that would work. Um, I'm not going to talk louder because I'm not going to scream at you while I'm making my good friends, good times nacho dip. Now, let me tell you, when I was uh, uh, your age, okay, Growing up in Ottawa, Canada, I used to go to this restaurant called um, Malibu Jack's. It was in the Byward Market, where uh, you might have seen a lot of the uh, early Tom Green Show clips uh, shot. And I used to enjoy this delicious dip. Uh, I would go there with Phil Giroux. You know Phil Giroux from the Tom Green Show, the guy that drank coffee in the window on MTV and on, on the show in Canada. You know, Phil Giroux. You know him, you love him. We... Um, Okay, hold on a second here. Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right, and we'll hide user on this channel. Okay, you don't get to be here anymore. That's a lot of fun. The toothless messiah doesn't get to be here anymore. Oh, it's too bad for him, because it's so much fun around here, but now he doesn't get to be here ever again, because he's blocked forever, with no uh, chance of, uh, of changing that forever. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. Um, this is a delicious dip. Uh, it's called the Good Friends Good Times uh, Nacho Dip. And it's so much fun because it's my favorite dip. I used to eat this all the time when I would go skateboarding with Phil. We'd go get some Good Friends Good Times Nacho Dip. I've got the recipe. I'm going to make it for you today. And I want you to make this and you're going to love this. You're going to love this dip. It's the most delicious thing ever. Okay, so here's how it works. It's, uh, by the way, it's not a healthy dip, okay? It's uh, probably an unhealthy dip. Let's, 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 let's be real here, okay? But that doesn't mean that it's not a delicious dip. Start with some Philadelphia cream cheese, okay? Some Philadelphia cream cheese and some sour cream, okay? Philadelphia cream cheese and sour cream, okay? Take that right there. Then you also get some taco seasoning, okay? Taco seasoning. Then you also want to get an onion, okay? An onion, all right? An onion. And you also want to get some tomatoes, okay? Some tomatoes, all right? There's some tomatoes here. And then, let's see here, probably three tomatoes will be good, okay? Save those for some for later, all right? And you wanna get, just wait, just wait. Wait for it. You wanna get some cheddar cheese, okay? Some cheddar cheese, all right? All right. And what you also want to get is lettuce. But I don't have any lettuce because um, because of the pandemic, I'm not eating lettuce right now. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I don't really trust it right now. I'm not, I don't want to like, you know, really, you know, you know, disparage the lettuce industry. But as far as I'm concerned, the virus might be on lettuce. That's just my opinion. And it's kind of hard to, to wash lettuce, you know? Not as hard to wash a tomato. And this is a situation where we're not cooking this. It's raw. So you want to make sure you get the virus off of the tomatoes. 
the coronavirus, because you don't want to get uh, COVID-19, because we're in a pandemic. Okay, so um, you guys know about that, right? You just heard about that. All right, so always wash your hands, okay? I'm going to wash this too. I washed it already, but, just, you know, you can't wash it too much, because this was delivered recently, and there could be virus on the sour cream container. So you just want to, you know, scrub the virus off of it. See? Yeah. There we go. That's good. All right. Okay, so, <laughs> now I'm, uh, and, and by the way, I'm not joking, by the way. Okay. You, you got to be safe here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sour cream and the cream cheese and we're going to mix it together. Now the actual recipe, okay, is two cups of sour cream and two cups of cream cheese. But you don't really have to be like super, you know, really super careful about that. Basically, you just want equal parts cream cheese, equal, equal parts sour cream. But I'm going to use a measuring cup anyway, just so you kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. Now, I like using the spreadable whipped cream cheese because it um, is easy to stir, stir it all together. You can see here, right? That's about two cups of cream cheese, maybe a little less, okay? But it's about two cups of cream cheese. It's a bunch of cream cheese, okay? Now you got the sour cream, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. Sour cream. All right. Just want to take a bunch of. Them. Just open this up. Okay. The sour cream, okay. And you just want to take a bunch of that too. About equal parts, so basically all of it. Just mix it all in. Can't really screw this up. Just put it all in there, okay? Alright. Alright. So now you've got the sour cream and the cream cheese, it's all mixed in together. Now you want to stir that up, okay? Check this out. Check this out, okay? Check this out, okay? Okay, you want to stir that up, okay, look at that, oh my gosh, okay, mix the cream cheese and the sour cream together, oh my gosh, it's so good, it's already good, okay, but just wait, there's more, you stir that up, now you get your taco seasoning, okay, and you take this, and it says a whole pack, but I think a whole pack's too much, so I put half a pack in. Because I think too much of it cuts into the flavor of the cream cheese and the sour cream, which is good enough as it is. But you want to get a little seasoning in there, it gives it a nice color, it's a little flavor. You mix that in there. See how it's becoming kind of a nice pink salmon color? This is really good. Okay. Any taco seasoning does job, but you know, you can probably experiment with different kinds. Okay, you mix that up, all right, all right, okay, look at that. See what, we've, see what we've done there? See that? It's all mixed up nice, okay? Doesn't that look good? Okay, remember what I'm doing here, okay? You remember what I'm doing here. There's a, there's a order to this, okay? All right, so you mix that up. I'm gonna set that aside. Now you get a nice bowl, okay? A nice, a nice shallow bowl, okay? I'm gonna set that aside as well. Okay, I'm gonna set that over here. Okay, you can see that, okay? Now we wanna take our onion, okay? Hi, I'm gonna take our onion, I'm gonna slice up this onion, okay? Slice up the onion, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Peel the onion, of course, you know. 
Make sure you don't chop your finger off. Okay. What you do here, you get the onion. Just peel the onion. Okay. Onions are delicious, by the way. Um, if you've never cooked before, uh, I would tell you onions are delicious. Like, you should definitely use onions when you cook, because they're delicious. I didn't really realize that before the pandemic, but since the pandemic started, I've really come to learn that onions are really delicious, okay? So check this out. You take the onion and you slice it up. Pretty straightforward, right? You know, what I'm, you know how to slice an onion. Don't chop your finger off, okay? You don't want to chop off your finger. So we're in a pandemic and you don't want to have to go to the emergency room because then you'll, you'll get the uh, coronavirus when you go to the emergency room. So you want to avoid being injured unnecessarily right now uh, during the pandemic. Okay, so you gotta be real careful, especially if you're doing a cooking show, which by the way, that's what this is. This is a cooking show. Because sometimes when you're doing a cooking show, you can be distracted, you know, because you're not paying attention because you're too busy thinking about, you know, the camera angles and all that stuff. You end up chopping your finger off. So don't do that, okay? Okay. As I chop my finger off. No, don't do that. Don't even say that. Don't even think it, okay? All right. Chop up your onion, okay? Now, I don't really know how to chop an onion because I don't really know what I'm doing, all right? But I do understand the basics of it. And the basics of it is essentially this. This is a knife, this is an onion, chop, 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 okay? And now it's in a bunch of little pieces. So pretty much, that's how you chop an onion. I'm sure there's probably some sort of way of doing it that's like, like a better way than this. But I just, I just, no one really ever showed me how. I might look at a YouTube video later, how to chop an onion, so that next time uh, I do a cooking segment, I'll chop it properly. But for now, I'm just kind of winging it, right? I'm a pretty smart guy, and I'm assuming that this is close enough, okay? I've chopped an onion, right? I got it. It's chopped up. Okay, now what you do, you take, uh, chop that up, okay? Okay, now, now what you do, you take the chopped onion, okay, chop that up, chop, 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 okay? Something like that, okay? You take the chopped onion, okay? And I'm just gonna set it aside. I'll set it aside in another bowl for now, okay? In another bowl. So I'm just gonna put it in this bowl for now. Mm-hmm, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh yeah. A lot of onion there, look at all that onion. Look at all that onion, that looks good. It might be a little bit more than we need. That's okay. We'll use what we want, and then we can eat the rest later for some, with something else. Okay, so we have the onion. Now we want to slice up the tomatoes, okay? Same thing. It's the same, uh, it's pretty much the same uh, um, sort of system for chopping a tomato as chopping an onion. You just, you take the knife, and you just, you just glide the knife right through it, and see? It just chops it. It's like, it's amazing. So you just, Glide it right through it, and you just it's, see how it's cutting it? See how it's chopping it up? That's all it takes. So all you need is a knife and the, the tomato itself, and <laughs> that's how you chop a tomato. Okay, so I'm gonna chop that up, all right? Slice that up. Don't chop your finger off again. Remember, that's not good during the pandemic. It's bad enough chopping off your finger like on a normal day. But during the pandemic, it's even worse because then you gotta go go to the hospital and, 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 and the coronavirus is there. So you don't wanna have to go to the hospital for a sliced off finger right now. Really, I, I'm, and, and honestly, like I am really am trying to avoid getting injured. I haven't been skateboarding. I haven't been doing any sort of real physical stuff the last couple of months because I just don't really wanna risk getting injured right now. So don't think that now's a good time to go skateboarding or whatever. Like, just probably just don't skateboard until the pandemic's over. Is my suggestion to you. Um, that's my suggestion. I know that's not the coolest thing to say, but I, I believe that to be uh, good advice. Okay. 
just basically stay inside and just don't do anything right now for the next little while is my advice to you. Don't go outside, don't go to parties or, or have fun or anything like that because it's just it's not time for that. You can play video games, uh, you can watch Netflix or, or television shows, but uh, don't really go out anywhere. Okay. So, one thing I like to do is to make dip. That's one thing that I've been doing to kind of keep myself from kind of losing my mind here. Um, again, if you're doing a cooking show, don't get distracted and chop your finger off. Again, that's why I'm trying, I'm not even really thinking about what I'm saying right now. I'm just really being careful not to chop my finger. And you know, it almost feels like I'm going to do it now because I'm talking about it so much, but I just don't do it. Okay. Okay. All right, chop, 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 slice, slice, slice. It's a sharp knife. I got, I got a good knife sharp, sharpener. I ordered it uh, on Amazon because I noticed at the beginning of the pandemic that my knives were all dull uh, because I hadn't used them in years because I don't know how to cook. And uh, I, I, I found out there's a thing called a knife sharpener and I ordered it and it really works good. It's over there. I'll show you that another day. Okay, check this out. Now you've sliced up your tomatoes, you've sliced up your onions. You see how you've done that? Okay. Um, now what you do is you take your delicious dip. Okay, see your delicious dip? See that? This is the, uh, the, the cream cheese and the sour cream. All right? Okay? Okay, everyone? Yep. Watch this, everyone. This is, you're going to like this. Watch. Take it and just dollop it right into the center of the plate in a big... This is a great dip for parties that you can't have right now, barbecues that you can't have, uh, inviting friends over right now that you can't do. Uh, but when we get back into sort of a semi-sense of normalcy, uh, that'll be a fun thing for you to do. You can surprise your friends, show up at a party with an amazing Good Friends, Good Times Nacho Dip, it's called. The recipe may be in line somewhere. It's called Good Friends, Good Times Nacho Dip, okay? Remember, lettuce is part of it too, but I'm not eating lettuce now because of the pandemic. But normally, you would want to put lettuce on top of this also. So see how you do that? You just take that, put it all there like that, okay? All right. See what I've done there? See, there's a big glob of dip there on the plate. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Okay. Now, check this out, okay? Now what you do is you take the onions first, okay? See the onions? Here, let me, let me zoom in and show you. Let me zoom in and show you here. Okay. Look at this. Hey, there you go. Okay. Watch this. Watch what we do here. Okay? Watch what we do here. <laughs> a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun. Okay, check this out. Okay. You take the dip. Okay, let me see if I find a good spot. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Just find a good spot for this. So you can see this good. All right. Here we go. All right. You got the dip there, okay? Take the onions and just sprinkle them on. Raw right on top. Sprinkle them on, okay? Sprinkle them on. That's going to be good. Okay? Take the onions. Onions, onions, onions. Lots of onions. Good. All around the edge. Leave the middle open so you can see the, the peeking out in the middle, okay? For now, take the onions, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Okay, look at that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's called Good Friends, Good Times Nacho Dip. Don't, 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 uh, you know, be chintzy with the onions, just because you're going to eat these onions and they're going to be delicious. They mix in nicely with the dip. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, that's good. That's enough for now. Okay, now, right? The tomatoes, obviously. Right? the sliced tomatoes that we sliced up. Take that, just put that on there too. Around the edge is nice, it's fine, around the edge, okay? Now you would also put lettuce on this too, but we're not doing lettuce because of the pandemic and I think the virus lives on, on lettuce. So th that's just my opinion, I just, I just, that's just a hunch that I have. So I'm not trying to like, you know, 
diminish the lettuce industry or whatever, but that's just a feeling that I have. Okay, so just put that on there. All right. Now, what I like to do, this is just my own thing. This is actually not part of the recipe. This is my own thing, but I like to do this. Take a little garlic salt. So I just put it on everything. And just put it on the tomatoes. Okay, just put it on the tomatoes around the edge. Just a little, a little dash of garlic salt. Okay, now. Hey guys. Hey, how are you? Now you get the cheese. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? Check this out. Okay. Check this out. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Okay. D -d 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 -d. All right. Okay. Okay. Now you get the cheese. All right. Uh huh. Okay. All right. And watch this. You just sprinkle some cheese on there. You go crazy with the cheese. Go crazy with it. Put a lot of cheese on there. See all that? Oh my gosh! Look how good look that. Look how good that looks. Okay. And there you go. That's your good friends, good times, nacho dip. Now, if you're if you're at a party, right? What you want to do is then you take the chips and you kind of you do this kind of deal. It's kind of fun. Put them like this around, okay? And what I would suggest you should also do, but I'm not going to do it right now. But what you can also do is then you cover it in a little in a little you know plastic wrap, saran wrap. And just put it in the fridge for a while, so it's I mean it's all cold already because it just came out of the fridge. But it's nice, kind of kind of congeals together in a way that's nice. But it's it's already good. See, so you go like that. Okay. See. Oh my gosh. Okay. You see, then you show up. See, there you go, there you go. Then you show up to the party, right? And you say, hey guys, look, I made some dip, right? And then everyone says, oh, you made dip? And you say, yeah, I made some dip, guys. Would you like some? And then everyone looks at it and goes, wow, you made a nice dip, right? And then you just, the way you, oh, let me just show you how, how, it, how it is, okay? That's it, that's as easy as it. You get a lot of onions, oops, okay. Onions and cheese. Dip tomatoes, okay. Look at that. How good that looks. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. No, no, not sour at all. Cheesy. Cheesy. Look at this. Mmm. No, no, this is not a meat. Someone said missing meat. This is not a meat thing. These are not nachos, okay? Don't get confused here. These are not nachos. This is a dip, okay? You don't put meat in dip. Okay. It's like a cheese dip. Look at that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, it is better with a little bit of lettuce on it. But again, I'm not eating lettuce until the pandemic's over. But maybe a little extra tomatoes. Mm. Wow. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look at that. How good that is. See? How good that is. See? Oh, my gosh. I have a delicious cheese dip. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. No. So, oh, wow. Now, there's nothing unhealthy about eating an entire tub of cream cheese, sour cream, and uh, grated cheddar cheese by yourself. There's nothing wrong with that because there's tomatoes on it, you see? So those are vegetables and vegetables are, um, are healthy and onions. So that cancels out all of the entire tub of cream cheese and sour cream and cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Cancels it right out. Makes it okay. Oh wow. I'm telling you, when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, and Phil and I would go skateboarding downtown Ottawa, 
And then we go to Malibu Jack's and we'd order this. Good friends, good times, nacho dip. It was literally my favorite thing about being a teenager, pretty much, was eating this. Um, I never knew the recipe. And then my friend Brian Boswell recently found it on the internet. We were just talking about it one day. And, uh, surprise. I remember trying to make it when I was a kid, and I put ketchup in cream cheese, thinking that was what it was, because I, I saw the red, I didn't know where the red came from. Tasted horrible. Was not good at all. Never made the 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 the, the taco spice cream cheese sour cream connection until now. Well, this is like my childhood, basically flooding back every time I taste this, and um, it's really unbelievable. Takes me right back to being a teenager. Now I'm not going to eat it all. I could. But what I'm going to do is mm. enough for now. Now this is what you do, okay? What I'm going to do now it's actually better when it's a bit colder too. So we just did some Reynolds wrap or some cling wrap, right? Some saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And just cover it up. Okay? Can't see that right now. I'll get a good shot. Get the idea. Cover it up. Plastic wrap. Okay. Put that in the fridge for later. And then later on tonight, when I watch my 30th episode of Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland, because uh, I've been watching uh, two episodes a night for like the last like uh, six months, because it seems like there's like 10,000 episodes of it or something like that. Um, so later on tonight, when I watch Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland, Right, which is like my favorite show right now, uh, after I watched Alone, which is the other show that I watched, which was fitting, Alone. But tonight, after, while I'm watching Designated Survivor with Keith, Keith or Sutherland, where he plays the designated survivor who's made president after, after you know, the government is, you know, it's a terrorism thing, all this stuff. It's kind of cool. It's like 24, right? Anyways, I'll have this entire plate of dip to myself later while I'm watching Designated Survivor on Netflix. So it's going to be good. Uh, and remember, after the pandemic, that's right, you can put lettuce on there, but not now, because um, it's got the virus on it. All right. So that's it. I'll save that for later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And that is Good Friends, Good Times Nacho Dip. It is so good. Uh, I absolutely recommend you go get uh, all the ingredients tomorrow and make that. Um, you want to get uh, an onion, you want to get some tomatoes, you want to get some uh, taco seasoning, you want to get some cheddar cheese, you want to get some sour cream, you want to get some cream cheese, and you want to get some, uh, some nacho, some chips, some tortilla chips. And that is the good friends, good times, Taco dip, nacho dip. All right. So that's today's recipe. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. And I can't wait to go look at the comments and look at all the other uh, budding chefs in here, the budding chefs in here, who would like to come in and uh, make uh, little comments about how they would do it this way or that way. That's why I love cooking shows, because people are full of ideas, and they don't understand that I'm the best chef, uh, that my cooking is better than than yours, and and that uh, and that even though I'm new at it, right? I have a certain sense 
Like it might be my sense of smell or just my intuition, but whatever it is, my cooking is better than yours. So uh, just do what I do and you're going to be away to the races. Maybe you could be a future Gordon Ramsay. All right? I'm the best chef. If you say anything about my cooking, uh, like, oh, you put too much oil in it or whatever, you're wrong. I'm right. I know that. Uh, that's a fact. Okay, so have confidence that what I did here is good, and don't listen to anybody that says otherwise. All right, thanks so much, everybody. I love you all, and uh, have a great night, okay? Now I'm actually going to go make my real dinner. I'm going to make uh, some shrimp fried rice. All right? Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later. That's my snack for later for when I'm watching, when I'm watching Designated Survivor later, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's go uh, take a little walk out here and just... Have a look at the sunset before, uh, before we, uh, it's not really quite sunset time, but we'll close out on a nice shot of the, of the sunset. Okay, everybody. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. No hummingbirds right now. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the uh, show. And then uh, go, uh, oh, brownies, that's a good idea. How would I make brownies? I've never made brownies before, but I bet you if I made them, they'd be like the best brownies ever because I'm such a good chef. Yeah, I think maybe I will try to make some, some, some brownies. That'll be good. I'll call them Tom's Best Brownies Ever. Okay. All right, guys, see you later, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>